Hi, welcome to watch the video introducing you to network physics. This is a course project done in CSE 461 Computer Networks. So our goal is to make a network physics game. It's very interesting to explore this field of networking of uh, video games since we all three love uh, playing video games. But there are several challenges. First, it needs to be responsive. So the client and the, the host should have a faster connection. Also, it needs to look smooth so that there are fewer jitters or stuttering situations. Third, it needs to run on low bandwidth so that the, uh, it won't require an extremely high speed of internet. The overall problem is how to accomplish network physics. One possible appro approach is to just use the server to determine the position and orientation of all the objects, but this would require large bandwidth usage, and it is not very responsive in time. Also, there will be bad things happen when losing a packet. Another better approach, which is the things that we have done initially, is to ensure the simulation has same states between server and clients. This requires smaller bandwidth, and it is okay to lose a packet, but it's of extremely bad responsiveness, and the Unity physics engine cannot support such game synchronous states all the time. In order to solve the previous issues, the current implementation is to use a priority control scheme. It will give players control of nearby objects, and it only requires to send objects with enough priority. By doing prioritization, it will adjust better bandwidth usage and have a good responsiveness. So what is being transmitting? The data are snapshots of the game scene which will contain only the states of the sphere and the cubes. How does the synchronization work? OK, we only set the position, the orientation of the spheres and cubes when data arrives. The physics engine is isolated with all these processes. The prioritization works as each game tick objects gets assigned a priority. To make efficient transmission, we send higher priority objects first. Who is actually higher priority stuff? It is the objects that collide with players since there are more physics computation going on with the collision. This should be the first priority stuff to sync. The drawbacks of current design is that UDP packets might be dropped but with the prioritization, the high priority objects will get sent more often. We use the compression schemes to further optimize the networks. We compress the, the quaternion, position, and velocity data. So before compression, each snapshot is, uh, has more than 59,000 bits, but after the compression, the snapshots is reduced to just about 11,000 bits, so it saves more than 80% of per packet. Let me show you a demo of five clients connecting to one host situation. The host will first establish the game scene, then each client can join the hosted game by input the correct IP address and the port number. The host runs at a tick rate of 30 Hz. The client runs at 10 Hz. Once the client has something changing from the scene, it will send the snapshots to the server and tell the server to update the scene for all. This is the project scene. There will be balls and cubes in this house. Let's look at the demo. Alright, let's look at the game now. So there are six windows of the Unity game sessions, and uh, we have uh, the first window as the host, and it's also the player one. So there are uh, cubes and sphere loaded into this scene. 
and you can use this uh, arrow key to control the ball and collide with the cubes to make the phys physics simulations. Then is the core part. We let client client one to join. So select P2 and uh, we join as client. Okay, you can see the client uh, one is uh, spawned in the middle and the server is perfectly syncing, synchronizing with the client two. Let's control the ball in the s server. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's running. What about client three? Let's try it. Nice, it's uh, perfect syn synchronizing with the server. So there are client uh, four, uh, client uh, three actually coming, and client uh, four, and client five. Yeah, they are all in these houses, and uh, each of them can be played with around. Also, the server can change its uh, force type. You can see the server will, uh, the ball will just uh, impulse other cubes away, which looks very cool, right? And uh, the last one is to try to close the connection with the server. See, like uh, this one is the client 5, and we close the connection. Although the client 5 can still move in, but uh, the other hosts, uh, the other terminals are just losing track with client 5. These are the two references that we refer to during the uh, project. So really thanks to those wonderful developers. Thanks for watching. You are free to download our project and uh, the Unity engine to play around with it. So, uh, hope you have a nice day. Thank you.